will be in a situation where you'll actually see the funds being raised before the plant actually breaks ground, and that's a result of the fact that we have to meet the first debt service payment. Uh, in order for us to meet the first debt service payment, we have to basically act immediately. That was one of the things we had roughly talked about previously at the last council meeting is um, our, our, our window of opportunity to move forward was very short and it was time for us to make a decision. Um, the following three slides are the options that the committee um, is providing up as the possible solutions to actually pay for the, uh, the new facility. Um, you will see some 25-year options and you will see a 30-year option. Um, of course, a 30-year option is gambling on the idea that, of course, the facility that is retrofit would be able to sustain itself for those 30 years. Um, and that really has a lot to do with just making a decision whether or not we think we, uh, if we want to rely on a 30-year plan or not. Um, just to give you an idea, this is a 30-year plan method that was brought up. It is a mix of, um, of rate increase and of property tax increase. In order to meet a 30-year debt requirement, your annual payment will be just under $375,000 a year. Uh, in order to meet that, and you might notice that I have a range on there for debt service. That has a lot to do with whether or not we end up getting grant money. Um, initially, our expectation is, is that there's an opportunity for some money out there with either the CDBG program, we've actually filed for the grant application awaiting on word back, and then of course we've probably all heard of the infrastructure redevelopment plans that the federal government's currently looking at. Um, once again though, neither one of those is currently um, something that we can rely on because we don't have either one available to us yet and uh, we can make adjustments later on down the road when actually we have a known commodity to work with there. Um, so that's where your $3 to $3.75 range comes from is in anticipation of the possibility that we may get grant money and may not get grant money. Um, you'll see that the rates down there, these only affect your sanitary sewer rates. Um, this will not affect your water rate. This will not affect your rainwater sewer rates. This only affects your sanitary sewer system. Um, so that utility would have a base fee of $8.30 for residential customers and a $12.75 for commercial based customers. Uh, your rate would be, per gallon, would be the same as your current water weight, which is $6.75 per thousand usage. Uh, so your water rate and your sewer rates will be, almost, will be very similar. Uh, might be a dollar or two off one way or the other because of your min base rate. Um, what's your base rate now for sewer? Your base rate for sanitary sewer is $4 uh, per customer, whether you're residential or commercial and $4.50 per thousand for the actual, um, the actual usage. This will be the only 30-year uh, option you'll see actually tonight. The next two options you'll see will both be 25-year options. Adam? Yes. You know, you and I were talking earlier this, uh, this, this afternoon, and you'd mentioned that the current sanitary bill right now runs about $26.35. The new rate will be about uh, 50 to $51 uh, under the new rates such as, as this. Right. Is that the sound right. Which one? On this plan. Um, that would be on the 20, I believe. Well, no, actually, the, the rate system does not change for option one or option two. Whether it's a 30 or 20 year, the only uh, change would be how much of it goes into debt, um, into debt service or to property taxes. The rate system is not changed depending on what system you look at. So uh, I guess that kind of loads us into the first comment I'll make since we just had that question. Uh, as you might notice that the rate system on this one is the same as the 30-year plan. What changes is the two top numbers. Of course, since we're paying it back over a 25-year rather than a 30-year, your annual payment goes up. It goes up to 420000 instead of 375000 um, The way you compensate for that is through your debt service option, as you can see, that's higher. Um, it ranges from just a little less than $4.10 to just under $5 per $1,000 of assessed value on your property from the county. Uh, from the county. What's the levy rate right now? What's the lever, the, the levy rate for this year is $21.67 roughly per thousand. Where does that put us as far as like in the state? We are 
Uh, right now we are in the topper top 10-15% for rates.